Welcome to My Feather Nest. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how I have started to transform my family room here at the farmhouse. This is a vlog style video and I kind of show you the paint colors and the process of getting to this point. This video does not show you the final reveal. That will be in an upcoming video. So make sure that you stay tuned to the channel to see where all of the fun and the magic happens in this much anticipated room. <clears throat> so I thought I would just show you a little bit of what a pain it is <laughs> to paint here at the farmhouse. So in just about the whole entire house, we have this, um, sorry about that shadow. Um, it's basically tongue and groove wood, almost like hardwood flooring, but all over the walls. I love it because it adds texture. It's different. It kind of um, nods to the fact that this is an older home. However, I will be completely honest with you. When it comes time to painting it, it's not, it's definitely not, as easy as a paint job as like painting drywall. Because each of the grooves that you see, um, like normally just painting up and down, you would never get the paint into those grooves. So the first thing I did was I got a really thick napped roller. Um, as a matter of fact, I bought it at Benjamin Moore. Talked to my man down there. Um, it's a three quarter inch nap roller. Um, and so what I am doing is I am rolling like sideways, trying to get into those grooves, like putting the paint pretty thick on my roller, getting into those grooves and just doing kind of smaller sections. And then I will kind of go through the, um, like the, the, horizontal, I guess, whatever, the up and down way. <laughs> I always get those two confused, horizontal and um, vertical. I don't know why, but anyway. Um, so when I show you this, you're gonna still see, like for instance, right there over, over to my left, you see that crack and you're probably thinking, well, Kim, you didn't get that. But guess what? You have to resign yourself to the fact that nothing is going to be perfect in an older home like this. And although I am trying to fill in like the cracks and the grooves as much as possible, there's still going to be areas like, for instance, this right here, that's not going to be covered. I've got a mess in here. My dad was kind enough to paint the ceiling for me and he primed the walls for me but i'm going through now and i am using benjamin moore oh, what color is it it's like the most popular off white that benjamin moore has it is white dove if you're interested um but he you know whites and off whites can be very reflective and he said the reason why this one's so popular is because it tends to be really work really well with whatever other colors I guess you put in the room. And so I can't stand how that is crazy to me how many choices of white and off white you have in regards to paint. So I wanted to keep it simple. I'm like, just tell me the most popular one. He told me why it was, and I was like, yep, sold. So I am using an eggshell um, because of the imperfections and stuff like that in and on these walls but anyway yep all right so i just want to give everybody a little update here um ooh, that sun oh um anyway i wanted to give everybody a little update on the progress with the family room so i did get everything primed i did use a benjamin moore um oil-based primer which was wonderful by the way. I mean, great coverage, but I kind of created a little bit of a mess. My dad did help me a lot with the priming of the room. Um, and then I came in with white dove or dove white um, eggshell and 
used that on the walls. And I did decide to go ahead and go with a color on my trim. And I am in love, you guys. I absolutely love this color. It is so pretty. Um, the color is called, where is that color? Let me find it. The color is Kittery Point Green. And it is such a beautiful color. It is a part of the historical collection from Benjamin Moore. Um, it's so pretty. So as you can see, I am painting all the trim. I'm in the process of it right now. I am going to have to do a second coat though. That's the bummer. I decided to go with a satin finish instead of a semi-gloss. Typically I would always do semi-gloss, but um, my man at the paint store said that more and more people are using satin. My dad recommended using satin because he felt, feels like it doesn't leave a brush, brush strokes as much. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to flip you around. I'm going to kind of, kind of show you the progress. All right. So you can see the baseboards and the trim down there are going to be painted. I'm just now starting on the windows and like I said, ignore the mess in here. Um, I'm going, the reason why you see it looking like this is because I'm going to use a little roll. Oh, I can see a drip. Not good. Um, I am going to use the roller to do the big baseboard, the majority of the baseboards along with this small closet door. Um, the reason why, I don't know if I've already said this, but the reason why I'm not doing this door is because this door is going to be replaced with a wood, like French door. Um, and so that is not getting painted. So I'm getting ready to, like I said, I'm working on the windows right now, but you guys, this color is so, I don't, I don't know if on camera it's really going to pick up how really pretty this is, but it is almost like a jadeite green. Um, and I didn't, it looks, <laughs> I'm seeing here, I'm looking at it through my phone and it looks like it's a way darker green than it is. Um, the sun is kind of starting to go down a little bit as well. And so there's not as much sunshine necessarily coming into this room, but you guys, it is a beautiful color. And matter of fact, here is the little, let me see if that'll pick that up. It's not going to focus. Oh, there we go. See, it's Kittery Point Green and it is Benjamin Moore. It's just a beautiful color. Um, so here is one thing I'm trying to decide though. So if you look up there, I have some trim up on the ceiling. I'm trying to debate right now if I should paint that green as well. Um, my dad says he doesn't think I should, but I kind of think I will. <laughs> we'll see. And also I am trying to debate on what I'm going to do with the fireplace. So... This fireplace, I've got some ideas of like a project. This will happen way later. It will be in a completely separate video. This, cause this won't probably happen for a while. Um, but I'm really wanting to do a makeover on the fireplace. Um, I do not like that tile. I'm not sure. But anyway, if you guys remember my husband, when we first moved here, had to build out that top piece of wood because our TV, Supposedly, they, the guys that came to put our TV up said that they were nervous to install it on um, the wall, I guess because of the type of walls that these are. So the TV was too wide to just sit on the mantel as is. So my husband built it out and he did a great job, but I never painted it. It has been like that for years, y'all. And finally, <laughs> finally, if you watch some of my old videos, you'll see this fireplace completely unfinished. Well, finally, this thing is getting done. But anyway... Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. I don't know if I'm going to get super creative. I kind of had this wild idea that I actually may paint it a totally different color. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I may, I, I, I don't know. I may just leave it. I may just paint it a white. It's, it's primed right now. Um, so I'm going to kind of finish up all of my other trim and then I'm going to make that a decision that I come up with later. Um, I'm not sure how much of the progress of this room will be put all into one video. If this will maybe be something I split up. If this is something I split up, then let me know down in the comment section what you think I should do. Number one, do you think I should paint that trim up top? And number two, do you think that I should paint the fireplace the same green? Do you think I should get really creative and paint it a totally different complementary color? 
or paint it white? Let me know down in the comment section. I would love to hear y'all's ideas. All right, just a little update here on the family room. So all of the trim is complete now. I got the baseboards done, the trim around the doors. I painted this door. Um, I have not decided what I'm doing with the fireplace yet. I did go ahead and paint that top trim. And guess what? I'll just keep watching. Oh, you see what I'm doing? <laughs> I actually ended up not liking it. I did not like the way that it looked. Um, it was very difficult to paint. It was very tedious and I wasted all kinds of time in doing it. And after I finished it, I looked back and I just don't, I just don't like it. Maybe if it were a lot wider of a like crown molding or something, maybe I would like it better. I don't know. I, I, I just don't like it. I don't know what, I don't know. But so now I am having to go back through after all that time I spent and I'm repriming it. And I can already tell, unfortunately, that the one coat of primer that I'm giving it is not going to be enough to completely cover that green. So I'm going to end up having to do a second coat. I will probably just go ahead and use my Dove White Benjamin Moore paint instead of just using a primer like flat, like the ceiling. I'm just gonna go ahead and do um, the Dove White up there. So if you are considering painting your trim or something like that in the way that I did, Maybe you have a room like this. Maybe this will help you to make a decision as to whether or not you wanna paint that ceiling trim, but yeah. So this process of painting this room, you guys, has been a very lengthy process. Um, but man, I am really, really liking, who doesn't love a freshly painted room? Um, and so I'm really, really getting down. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm really getting excited because I cannot wait to get this decorated. I don't know if I'll have it done to decorate for fall. I don't know, we'll see, because there is still quite a bit that has to be done in here besides just painting, so um, stay tuned. Okay, so I wanted to film more of an update for everybody, but unfortunately, I got carried away and forgot to film everything. <laughs> um, but I'm not sure where I left off, but I don't know if I told you, but I did decide to paint the fireplace just with the Dove white paint that is the same color as the walls. I do want to do a project with this fireplace and that tile down there, but that will come in another video in another day. Um, but let me show you what I have going on. I, I don't know if I've also, maybe I'm being repetitive. This door is being replaced and that is why it is unpainted. Um, so anyway, I would love to have had the TV hanging on the wall and maybe that's something that we can eventually do, but for right now, time's sake, I went ahead and just placed it back on the mantle for right now. I do not like that. I really, really want it hung on the wall. So I'm gonna have to talk to my husband about that. But anyway, um, y'all, I am in love with this rug. I did get this from Amazon and I will leave the link down in the description box. Um, this rug though, y'all, it is beautiful. I did get it in a nine by 12 size. I'm gonna be honest with you. I wish that I would have gotten it in a 10 by 14, if not uh, even bigger, 11 by 15. Um, because once I put it down in the room, I was a little bit disappointed in the size that I got, but I went back to Amazon and unfortunately they don't make it in a bigger size. So I decided that once I got the rest of the furniture in here, I thought it would be fine. I'm, so this is the furniture that I did buy off a lady from Facebook Marketplace. I'm so excited about it. I really love it. I do need to spot clean. You can see that on the ottoman. I did wash the cushion covers. Um, they are zipped off. What I love about it is it's just one big piece and there's no frumpy pillows behind you falling all over the place. Um, the couches, this was really good furniture. Um, it is probably pretty old. I'd say this is, I don't know what year it's from, but I'm going to totally guess. I, I'm not even going to guess. No, I'm not. But I love it. I love this style. I think I've told you guys that before. I'm really happy with it. This recliner is not going to be staying in here for the long haul. 
Um, we are actually on, in the process of looking for a stressless recliner. That is what my husband wants. I'm hoping because those are so low profile that I'll be able to fit two of them in here if I move the couches forward. I'm not sure if that's going to work or not, but regardless, I'm definitely getting my husband one. My mother-in-law and father-in-law, this was actually in their camper and they are getting new furniture in their camper. And so they gave this to me to use until we get something else. So it's fine. Um, and then actually these Barrister's bookcases are from their home as well. And if you do not know this, um, my mother-in-law and father-in-law are both retired now. And they have sold their beautiful farmhouse in Northeast Ohio. And they are now full-time living in their lovely fifth wheel motorhome. Um, they live on our property right now and that this is just a brand new thing. I don't know if I've mentioned that I probably haven't. This has been a long time coming. So we're really excited about them being here now. Um, so anyway, they're, they're going to be a big help. They actually helped me a lot today. We had to take all kinds of paint off of paint spiders off of this hardwood flooring. You guys, what a job. I wish now I would have done my due diligence and covered the floors more before I painted. However, I do have a product to show you if you ever are in a predicament like I was and need to get paint splatter off of hardwood flooring. So I'm going to show you something in just a minute so if I can find it. But I have this cute little drop leaf small table. Um, I decided to kind of see if I liked it with just one of the sides open. I don't know if I'm going to like that or not. I kind of may just go back and, and shut this one and just keep it as a thin, like skinnier table. Um, I did put Mr. Penguin. He has now moved and graduated from outside on the porch to inside in here in the family room. And the only other thing I've done, I'm trying to figure out if I like is do I like these lamps in here? Um, I think that I'm going to, because I think actually giving some black in this room as well. You see, I have a lot of browns too. Giving the black in here is going to be a grounding kind of a thing too. That's why I actually like the Barrister's bookcases. I know you're probably thinking right now that this doesn't look that great, but this is like the base. Now the fun begins and it's going to be decorating everything. It's going to be hanging artwork and whatnot. I've got to do curtains. Um, I'm a little bit indecisive when it comes to what I'm going to do as far as that goes if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear them in regards to anything. Um, I think one thing I'm going to do is probably put a cream colored throw over this brown recliner to kind of take away from all this brown going on over here. But remember, that is a temporary thing. Um, I'm going to get, I want pillows, of course, some. I don't want to do too many pillows. I, you know, guys, I'm a queen, the queen of pillows, but... I don't want to do too many um, on the couch, but let me know in the comment section some suggestions that you have. I'd love to hear it. What are your suggestions in regards to window treatments? Should I do Roman shades? If I do Roman shades, do, I, do you think I should still do drapes? And obviously, if I do drapes, I'm going to do them higher than the windows. And they will, I don't want to cover up my wood, my wood um, work because first of all, it's really pretty. And second of all, it, I love the color. Like I love this cut, color. And if I didn't share that with you, I will make sure I put it down in the description box, but it is Benjamin Moore. I think it's called Kittery Point Green. It is a part of their historical colors. Um, anyway, I am really, let me, there we go. I'm really happy with the vision that is coming to life, I guess I should say. I was a little nervous. I always think about things in my mind and I, I'm, I'm trying to always picture what a room is going to look like in my mind's eye. And then sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't quite work out as well as I thought. But so far, so good. Um, little tweaks here and there. But I can't wait for the rest. The rest is where the magic happens. But you guys will have to wait because <laughs> I'm going to do a final reveal of this room. So if you're not already subscribed to this channel... And don't want you to miss it. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Become a part of the YouTube family. Make sure you hit the bell to be notified. And please like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Like I said, leave me comments. I want suggestions from you guys. Tell me what you would do with the windows. Maybe give me, give me some ideas of what color pillows you may put on the couches. 
I would love to hear what you guys say. All right. Oh, and I am getting a new ceiling fan. I'm super excited about that. I think I'm going to get one from Lowe's and I think it's going to be beautiful. Like I said, stay tuned for the final reveal. Bye guys.